Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Previously, we took down the latest guardian in Tartarus, the Change Relic, and hung out with Chihiro after school in the library. Needless to say, she had a bit of an outburst, but the way I see it, she had a breakthrough that day, so I say good for her. Today, we're gonna do some after school social link business before we head back to the dorm and hang out with Jupei Yukari to talk about this ghost story thing that's been going around school recently. And I know just the person we can hang out with for today since it is Friday. And that will be Bebe. You've been waiting for us, huh? Yeah, I'd like to go back to the home economics room because I think this will be our first time actually sewing. Because you did mention you, li you like to sew up the last time we did go to Hobeck. And sure enough, we're joining this little club of sewing people now. Two sewing machines, but steadily in sync. I'm having a good time hanging out with Bebe. Today, our work is over. Oh, Adi. Let's go to Sweet Shop, Mikoto-sama. This is my first time going, so will you teach me? Come to think of it, I think this will be the first time we'll be seeing this sweet shop as well. We may have seen the interior of it, but I don't think we've seen the, the exterior of it. We'll go together by, by Tomodachi, my friend. So we decided to go to the sweet shop. I'm not sure this is actually a place we could go inside of our own free time. I think we can, but... I don't think it really does help out much in the case of a max social league run. And it's in the Iwatorai strip mall. Oshi! That dessert was delicious! I am so happy! Oreshi! I love the culture Nihon! Japan is sugoi! Amazing! Despite my limited knowledge of the Japanese language, I somehow know sugoi by heart, but... I can imagine Japan is pretty great. Never been there myself, but I will let the go there someday. It's my dream trip, to be very honest. He is really infatuated by the Japanese culture, though I can actually see that. I do have a bit of an interest in the Japanese culture myself, I'm not gonna lie. He wants to learn everything about the whole and become Japanese. Well, that's what like, immigration is for. You can just apply for dual citizenship. <laughs> That's what we could get to do that. He has an aunt who lives back home and has been helping him. Well, that's very nice. I must tell her that I made a great friend. He's been saying the word Tomodachi a lot. That kind of reminds me I need to get Tomodachi life for my 3DS at some point. But he really does seem to, I guess, cherish that word a lot, friend. So I guess we're already starting to learn just how much he's valuing our friendship, despite we already spent some short time together with Bebe. Honestly, it just occurred to me that uh, since we're a transfer student ourselves, it's kind of fortuitous for us to find someone like Bebe, because us new kids are gonna stick together. <laughs> I would like to ask you more about Nihon. I'll talk to you later. Hasta la vista. <laughs> I was not expecting that that goodbye green to come up this fast in the social link. But once again, that's so stupid, yet it makes so much sense. I love it. Okay, as we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course. I got lots of good info. It turns out, no angry ghost was involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? huh. First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. Since the girl was found on school grounds, there's at least one similarity to the ghost story. Why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? Correct! But yeah, I was surprised when I found out the reason. Over the next few days, there were two more similar incidents. 
all three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people were talking. Next, the victims are in different classes and they don't seem to be connected. However, they did have one thing in common. What was it? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. It can't be just a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're going to do some field research. Field research? Are you kidding? Yeah, there's this one place where the three victims were regulars. Wait, you're not talking about that place behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you're familiar with it. You can't go there. I've heard some nasty rumors about that place. Is that so? Well, then we should all go together. You'll come, right? <laughs> Thanks. Forget it. That place is bad news. I mean, don't you think we're getting in over our heads? Up until now, all we've done is take orders. Does that feel right to you? I know what you mean, but... Man, did you have to say it like that? <sighs> Guess I don't have a choice, do I? Okay. We'll go tomorrow night, then. You agreed to go to the hangout tomorrow night. So it looks like we finally have some sort of lead to where this ghost story might be going, huh? Car, you got anything else you want to say? Alright, enough's enough. Tomorrow, I'm gonna put a stop to that stupid Jupe Zone thing. I hope you're not too freaked out, Makoto Kun. Uh, we fight shadows on a regular basis. I'll be fine. Jupe, however, I think he's really freaked out about this. Oh, don't worry about that. He's always freaked out. Yeah, to be fair, he does seem like the type that would scare easily, though I'm sure you can relate somehow, Yukari. I heard that there are meetings that I place a couple times a month. All these souls get together. It's like a reunion for ex-convicts. Hey, are we planning to go there tomorrow? Uh, yeah. We were just saying that at the meeting, Jupe. Were you not paying attention completely? Man, that boy sometimes. I swear, he's got the attention span of a fish. A goldfish at that. I wonder what our senpai have to say about this. I'm impressed that you've been able to gather so much information in such a short amount of time. Wow, she's really impressed about this? I'm honestly surprised. Aki, you got anything to say you want to see about this? I don't know what you guys are planning to do, but just don't overdo it. At least one of them is concerned. But it looks like we finally got a place to investigate about these rumors now. It's gonna be very dangerous if what Jupei says is true, but like I said, we handle sh shadows on a regular basis. Compared to humans, shadows are really, really threatening. And Compared to shadows, humans aren't really that threatening, so I think we'll be in the clear. Alright, so Friday today, uh, actually we did max out our courage recently, so we'll head to Chagall Cafe to now start working on our charm. After all, we did recently hit level 2 in our charm level, so why not uh, continue on that while we're at it? A few people looking at you. Is this effect an effect of the coffee? Somehow it, it probably is because our charm does increase. I'm honestly not a fan of coffee. Despite living in a in a country where one of our one of our uh, restaurant chains is pretty popular for its coffee, I've never had a taste of that in my life because I just don't. Like, I just don't like the idea of having coffee. 
Uh, sorry, Cass. I'm gonna be really busy tomorrow. And for the next few days, for that matter. But we'll hang out at practice, trust me. That's provided if you can get there. I know your knee's been pretty messed up as of late. Another phone call? Oh, hey, Chihiro. Oh, man. Uh, sorry, I can't make any plans right now. Oh, that's, the, that's so bad to turn Chihiro down because I think it's the first time that she's actually called us, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's that just hurts a little bit. Especially since I think she started making strides and trying to overcome her nervousness. Maybe I'll hang out with her tomorrow just to make up for the fact that we had to reject her offer tonight. I think that's what I'll do. In the meantime, we'll get our academic points as per usual before we go to bed for the night. It's a good thing my tiredness cleared up very quickly on Friday when the day did turn into Friday morning. Otherwise, this tiredness will be plaguing me a lot more. And we do have that, that little destination we have to go to today, but that's not going to be until after school. And like I said, I'm going to hang with Chihiro to make up for not accepting her offer the previous night. Yeah, I won't forget about Yukari, trust me. Jupiter, however, I still don't think he wants to go, despite the fact that we kind of have to. Information is important trying to figure out where, where all these rumors fly. Because you were asking for it, Jupei, that's why. Because it's you. And again, if it's as dangerous as you are, then I think there's a good reason why you should be scared. But we'll handle that when that time comes. In the meantime, Chihiro, let's hang out for today, since there is no student council. Since I do have Angel, I'll be able to get more points for social link. But from what I see on my notes, we won't be able to get enough points to level up this time around. However, the next time that we do spend time with Chihiro, we will rank up in her social link. So now that we got this out of the way, it's time for the main event of today, so to speak. All right, let's get going. What's your hurry? I still think this is a bad idea. How could you be afraid of ghosts, but not be scared of this? It's easy to get freaked out by something you can't see, don't you think? Actually, I'm more worried about things I can see, like bats and knives. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on, it'll be an adventure. More like a suicide mission. The hell? Check out those rags, they're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is worse than I thought. You're in the wrong place. Uh, well, I... You don't belong here, get it? Beat it, goatee. Uh, goatee? Oh, you, you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Take a look around you! I'm not blind, you know. Come on, don't be intimidated by these scum. What was that? She just called us scum. Let's get them. Who cares where they're from? <laughs> We'll post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. She'll wish she was never born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's 
so clever. <laughs> These guys are the worst. You ought to learn to shut that trap of yours. Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a pain in the ass. Huh? <laughs> Junpei! Hey, pretty boy, I don't like your face either. Got anything to say before I beat it to a bloody pulp? That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. All right. Who do you think you are, dumbass? You want some too? Do I have a choice? That's it, you're going down! Gah, shit! Damn you, Shinjiro! That's right, you're from Gecko High too, aren't you? I thought you were one of us! What gave you that idea? I don't remember swearing a blood oath. You son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive? Sure do. Wanna give it a try? Uh, screw this! <laughs> what a loser! You better grow eyes in the back of your head! Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! You idiots! Get out of here! This place isn't for you. Wait! We came here for a reason. You guys, you were at the hospital. Did Aki tell you to come here? Hmm. <laughs> what do you want to know? About that ghost story? Uh, yeah. How'd you know? It's a rumor. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. About all the things they'd done to some girl named Fuka. Fuka? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Fuka's spirit that did it. I hear it's all over the net, too. Fuka spirit? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Fuka girl might be dead. She hasn't been home in over a week. Don't you guys go to school? How do you not know this? Are you serious? I thought she was out sick. But she's missing? So much for the ghost story. Mr. Ikoda is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. It's you who can't let go. Nothing. That's all I know. Satisfied? Yeah. Thanks, Senpai. Come on. Show some appreciation. 
thanks. You totally helped us out. You're very kind. Huh? I, uh, never mind. Don't come here again. Well, the plot thickens. It turns out that ghost story was nothing more than that, just a story. Fuka is M.I.A. Or I guess just missing <laughs> in general. But wow, I did not think things would have come to this. <sighs> Are you out of your mind? <sighs> Going to a place like that. I mean, I'm proud of you guys for trying to gather info, but be a little more careful next time. Yeah, I'll admit, things did get a little hairy there. If it was for Shinjiro, we'd be bone right now. We'd be more than bone, actually. So thank goodness he was there. Yamagishi has disappeared. He began with a ghost story has developed into a serious situation. Yeah, it has. It might be up to us to find out what happened to Fuka, if we can find any more leads to Fuka's whereabouts. For all we know, she could be in another town. She probably just ran away from school or something. That guy looked kind of scary, but he was actually really nice, don't you think? Shijiro? Yeah, I agree. He does look really tough, but there is a deep kindness to him inside, I bet. I'm actually surprised he is a senpai, because... He doesn't even look like a student at all. I mean, to me, he looks like someone that graduated or just dropped out long ago. He looks a lot older, older than uh, I realize. As short as this may be, I think that's going to be it for today. We had a lot of exposition that we uncovered, so I think it's be a good place to stop. So on the next episode of Persona 3 FES, we're going to head back to school and see... If we can ask Mr. Ikoda about this, since he is Fuka's teacher, maybe we might get some clues from him about what happened to Fuka and where she might be. Until we meet again, farewell for now.